Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. There is interesting information about the sign of Alatra. It is a circle, and under it, is a crescent with legs up. It is found on almost all continents in the architecture of buildings, on mosques, on stupas, on orthodox churches. This suggests that the knowledge used to be unified. But why this sign is not told about it in history classes? Because they say divide and conquer. And this knowledge, on the contrary, says that we are one big family. And we are one, as humankind. That's why this information is silenced. The Golden Mask of the Pharaoh Tutankhamun, shown by X-rays. Until recently, archaeologists believed that the mask was made of a single piece, but it was a loud bombshell when this mask was X-rayed. And the surprise was that this mask contained more than one piece that was welded together by a very precise welding process, invisible to the naked eye. Then everyone was stunned by the knowledge and advancement of past civilization in alloys and goldsmithing. One of the images is from the Mayan culture. Allegedly, they are humanoid images of workers in sealed helmets with saws cutting stone. You don't see any resemblance to the image below. Official history, on the other hand, will silence everything and say that everything was built with a hammer, pickaxe, and chisel. twenty six thirty nine to twenty five oh six BC the material is black diorite diorite is one of the strongest materials on earth it can resist neither alkali nor acid perfectly capable of withstanding the influence of the environment and time because of its longevity it has been used so that objects made of it could survive up to three thousand to five thousand years later Scientists and textbooks claim that it was made with stones, sticks, and copper tubes, 3000 to 1000 years ago BC. They didn't know iron then, and the tools were primitive. Maybe our builders should be given sticks and copper to build properly. Otherwise it's a regression. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learn something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Studying the map of Daniel Solarius for Amantanus in 1590, the pyramids were found near the river Tartarus and the city of Tartarus. And already in our days, researchers started to talk about these pyramids. Among the mountains of Altai, a sensational find was discovered. In the northwestern part, were found at an altitude of 800 meters pyramid-shaped mountains, most likely of artificial origin. This explains the accuracy of the faces and the geometric structure of the pyramids. On the walls were found writing, resembling the Scandinavian runes, namely several runes identical to the High Futhark. Only 400 years had passed between the map and the sensation. Anything new is the thoroughly forgotten old.
Durovich's needle is a rod of pure iron without any impurities. The unusual artifact, whose age dates back to 14 BC, is a technological miracle. The needle, 64.5 centimeters long, has been in the ground for more than 33 centuries and has not the slightest trace of corrosion. The possibility of making an artifact from meteorite iron is ruled out. Meteoritic iron contains nickel, which is not present in the needle. Neither could be made from natural iron, as iron of such purity does not exist in nature. Using ultra-modern X-ray imaging, it was determined that the artifact was made of iron of perfect density, with no cracks, traces of corrosion or cavities, which are present even in objects made under pressure of several thousand tons. It is nice to put scientists on the spot, but I would like to hear at least some speculation as to how wild uneducated peoples could have created or obtained such a miracle. The giant horse for a giant rider. If paintings and bas reliefs depict animals of large breeds, this is normal, realistic, but people giants for the world community it is so painted, it is a tribute to the high position and the fantasy of the author. The tapestry called Summer Feast was created in Bruges, capital of the province of West Flanders in Belgium, around 1538. Today it can be seen in the Bavarian National Museum. It is famous for depicting very UFO-like objects that hover in the sky. Judging by the numerous images of flying machines in this and other paintings, and even mentions in the Bible, the ancients flew comfortably and were not such savages. Again, this is a painting from the year 1562, depicting humans riding what appears to be a brontosaurus. According to mainstream, the dinosaurs were extinct 60 million years before humans ever appeared on Earth. Therefore it's safe to assume that we could never had contact with them. However, in this painting, and many other paintings, architecture and even ancient pottery, we find humans and dinosaurs, and many of them humans were riding them as pets. One thing is for certain, humans and dinosaurs coexisted in the past, however, most of the mainstream, dinosaurs species were made up to justify the large amount of fossil fuels. If you follow my channel long enough, you know already that oil has nothing to do with dinosaurs. I believe that our world was inhabited by a whole range of beautiful animals unknown to us. Although we classify them as dinosaurs, it's possible that they belong to a group of certain reptile animals that were probably extinct or killed not too long ago. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.